This is what they look like. Look at that blue lake. Whoa, look at all those fields. Earthquakes are likely to happen here. You can fly to Nikola Tesla Airport in Belgrade. I changed my map room. I'm coming out and make travel and geography related videos. I'm looking to see the beauty of every country. Today we're gonna do that with... Serbia! Did you know that this is Serbia? And this? And this? Serbia has many different mountain ranges. It's like all the mountain ranges in Southeast Europe want to make a stop in Serbia and meet each other so you can look forward to the landscape section. In this video, I will present to you the geography and travel suggestions for Serbia. I seek to find the most correct information and sometimes I make mistakes, so you're welcome to let me know. Okay, let's zoom in. Serbia lies in Europe, where Central Europe meets Southeast Europe. And the geography of Serbia is a little complicated. Well, that is an understatement. It is complicated. We have just started the episode and we have already gotten to the most controversial part, Serbia's area. We can see it here on the map. And this is a sensitive topic. See this area? If you ask the Serbian government and many Serbians, they consider this to be part of Serbia, known as Kosovo and Metoja. But in 2008, Kosovo declared independence, which the Serbian government did not recognize. Internationally, there is divided response. Some recognize Kosovo as its own country, some do not. As of 2020, there are 97 countries that recognize Kosovo as its own country. How it got this way is a long story that I'm not going to tell you now. But what I can tell you is that Serbia is part of the Balkans. Now, what are the Balkans exactly? There is not a clear agreement of what countries make up the Balkans. The countries that are usually considered part of the Balkans are North Macedonia, Albania, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Slovenia, Bulgaria and Romania, and Serbia. Serbia is a landlocked country. It does not have a coastline and it borders Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, North Macedonia, and Albania, depending on whether or not you consider Kosovo as its own country. Is the geography not complicated enough for you? Let's spice it up then with border anomalies. Let's head to the border with Croatia, where we can find the Danube River. Very often, a river makes up the border with two countries, and that is the case here too. But since the river's flow has shifted directions over time, many small islands and peninsulas have formed, and the border is no longer completely following the river. More south, at the border with Bosnia and Herzegovina, we can see this piece of land only accessible by this narrow road. And a little more south is a Bosnian exclave within Serbia. Now let's take a look at the extreme points. The northernmost point of Serbia lies here on the border with Hungary. The easternmost point lies here in the Danube River bordering Romania. The southernmost point is up for discussion, either here in Kosovo bordering Albania or right here on the border with North Macedonia. The westernmost point lies, well, across the Danube River, bordering Croatia. Serbia is a pretty average-sized country. It comes at number 111 in area, just smaller than Jordan and just bigger than Azerbaijan. With almost 7 million people, Serbia comes at number 107 in population, almost the same as neighbor Bulgaria. These are numbers that do not include the disputed area of Kosovo, by the way. They have about 1.8 million people. The population density becomes 89 people per square kilometers, and Serbia comes to number 93 in population density. Now, the data for life expectancy. In 1960, Serbians could expect to live for 62.9 years. Now, the number has risen to 76 years. That is over 13 more years to live. Go Serbia! So, where do the Serbians live? The biggest city is the capital city, Belgrade. Other big cities are Novi Sad, lying in the north, and Niš to the south. The official language of Serbia is Serbian. Serbia in Serbian is Serbia. Now let's have some fun in street view and let's begin with the capital city, Belgrade. So the capital city lies here in the north where the Sava River and the Nuba River meets. Now let's see what happens here. We have the Nikola Tesla Museum, Beogradski Sajam, a fair, Park Kalemegdan, what else is there? 
I think that means museum. Yeah, is that a botanical garden? Okay, I'm curious, let's just dive right in. There. Okay, it is a sunny day in Serbia. And there we have, I think this means lawyer. Calle, that's street in Spanish. Well, they don't speak Spanish here. Here is something in Serbian. Let's see if I can read this. Reservisane za organe vlade republike Serbia na... Yeah, six. <laughs> Parking. Parking mesta od 7 do 17 hours. This is something about parking in the Republic of Serbia between 7 and 1700 hours. I do not speak Serbian as you can hear. Here we have a salon. Pretty tall buildings here. I wonder how old they are. There are many windows in them. Many cars parked here. A small truck. I want to see the water and I can see a blue line going here on the water. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so here is the Danube River. It is pretty wide. There are many trees here lying along the river. You can see boats here. And here is this park. I can see the city lies on a hill. At least this part of the city does. I like all those big trees here. And this looks like a great place to go for a walk along the river. I wonder if there are restaurants here. That'd be a great place to have dinner at least. Yeah, look at those buildings and this tower here. So let's check out the rest of the country. I'm gonna try one place in the north and then another place in the south. So I'm just gonna be really random and go, oh, like there. Oh, wow. Where are we now? Looks like we're in a town called Behe. Can't really see it. This looks beautiful. Super green and well-maintained grass. And this is a big building, probably an important building. What does it say here? It's a little hard to read. And here we have, I think it's a bank. Well, that's a good looking church, yellow church. This looks really beautiful. I like the big open space here. And this building looks pretty unique with four crosses. Yeah, this looks like a really nice place to just go for a walk and meet up with friends. Let's see what happens there. Oh, where are we now? This looks like a cave. Let's check it out. Is that a table? We're walking on this little bridge. This looks like the entrance of a cave. Whoa. Yeah, some information here that I can't read right now. Whoa, that looks really green. The sunlight here is beautiful. So let's look inside this cave then. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the sun is shining here and then it gets darker and darker inside the cave. Interesting. I wonder what happens if you go even further inside this cave. I don't know if that's even possible, but caves are interesting. If you've ever been to a cave before, you're free to comment down below and tell me where the cave is, because caves are cool. All right, thank you, Street View and Serbia. Serbia has a varied topography that we can see here. In the north, we can find rich, fertile plains, part of the larger Pannonian plains that stretch all the way to Slovakia. A lot of the land is being used for agriculture. Whoa, look at all those fields. Here is where you can find the country's longest river, the Danube River. And other rivers in the north are the Sava River and Tisa River. But almost half of the country is mountainous. And Serbia has many different mountain ranges that all kind of meet in this landlocked country. First, we have the Balkan Mountains in the east. They continue into Romania. This is what they look like. And look at that blue lake. In the west are the Narek Alps, a mountain range stretching from Albania and all the way up to Slovenia. Here you can find some forests, hills, valleys. This looks so beautiful. In the south, we can find the North Albanian Alps. And there are two things that are interesting here. First, this area has tectonic activity, so earthquakes are likely to happen here. And second, this is where you can find the tallest point of the country. This lies in Kosovo. It is called Jeravica and has an elevation of 2,656 meters. 
Outside of Kosovo, the tallest point of the country is Midsor, lying in the Balkan Mountains, at the border with Bulgaria, at 2,169 meters. Opposite side time! A boomer ruler in the capital city of Belgrade moved it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe and we land in the South Pacific Ocean, pretty far away from land. But the closest land is Pitt Island, part of New Zealand. I would love to travel to Serbia one day to experience all those mountains and beautiful landscapes. So here are our travel suggestions to do just that. First, if you choose to fly to Serbia, then you can fly to Nikola Tesla Airport in Belgrade. Make a quick stop in Belgrade, head to the really big Kalemegdan Park to get great views over the Danube River. Then drive four hours south to the Uva Canyon. Here we can see clearly that a river has meandered through the land and has created this canyon. This looks so cool, I've never seen anything like this before. Continue to travel through Serbia by driving five hours to Javolja Varos. Put on your hiking shoes to look at those rock formations! It is pretty amazing that they are just standing there, formed over a long time. There are many trails in the area, so this is great for a day of experiencing nature. Why haven't I heard of this before now? I would definitely want to visit it if I'm in Serbia one day. I have one more travel suggestion for you. It's another 5 hours of driving. It isn't bad at all, the distances are pretty short, I think. And the next destination is the National Park Djerdap. This national park stretches from the Golubak Fortress along the Danube River and along the Bulgarian border. And this is also great for hiking, to get great views over the spectacular river gorge. The biodiversity is high here. If you're lucky, you can even see a salamander. So, Serbia is the geographical heart of the Balkans, where many mountain ranges meet, making the landscapes varied, offering the Serbians and hopefully soon foreigners like me beautiful landscapes perfect to explore. These were some geographical facts on Serbia. Next time we're gonna go back to Africa, to Senegal, and we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.